Hello, my name's Alex at Sydney Jackson's in Macclesfield. I'm currently carrying out a timer belt replacement on this one litre EcoBoost Fiesta. Uh, so I'd just like to walk you through the process of exactly what we do every single time we do one of these cam belts. So the first things first, we remove all the components on the top of the rocker cover so we can gain access to take the rocker cover off. We also remove the intake pipe and the air box to ensure we've got more accessibility into the other engine components. So here we can actually see the cam belt assembly itself at the top. And if you look very closely at the belt, you can actually see some very, very fine hairline cracks on the belt, which is where it starts to deteriorate. We also see the camshafts in the top of the rocker, which is where we get access to put the cam locking tools. We also remove the boost pipes and the wiring loom on the side of the engine to gain access to the lower auxiliary components ready for removal. So at this point in the process, we remove the air conditioning gas from the system so we can remove the air conditioning compressor. We also remove the battery and the battery tray to ensure we've got access to the starter motor bolts as the starter motor needs to be removed to access the flywheel, which is where we put the crank locking tool in place. Whilst we're here, we also remove any ancillary components that may be getting in the way of removing other components further down the line. So here underneath the side of the engine we've removed the auxiliary drive belt pulleys, the alternator and the aircon compressor. We then move on to the exhaust, we remove the two lower nuts that secure it to the sump and the two rearward nuts that secure the front pipe to the centre section of the exhaust. We then lower the vehicle down to get access to the top of the exhaust where we take the heat shield off and then remove the four retaining bolts that hold the exhaust onto the turbo. And then removing the last 13mm bolt so we're able to drop the exhaust completely off the vehicle so we gain access to the whole front side of the engine. So with all this room readily available to work around we get access to the two 8mm bolts that hold the coolant flange onto the front engine cover. The next part of the procedure we remove all the sump bolts and remove the sump so we can inspect the oil strainer on the bottom of the oil pump. Here underneath you can see the oil strainer, it's nice and clean, there's no particles 
or any dirt in there, which is very good. It shows the vehicle has not been starved of oil. Here you can see the oil pump belt, which we'll replace at the same time as the timing belt. And you can see here, and to remove the oil pump belt, we also have to remove the plastic cover. At this point of the repair, we remove the wheel to remove the drive shaft so we can gain access to the rear of the engine where we put the crank alignment tool in place. So with the engine around about half stripped down, we then move on to the front cover uh, components, which we have to remove to take the front cover off, such as the water pump housing. And we also remove the two front VVTI sensors for the variable valve timing. And then we move over to the 30 mil bolt that holds the starter motor in place. Okie dokie, so we're now coming to the important part of the timing belt, which is making sure that the engine is in time before we take this front cover off. This is absolutely vital uh, that we carry out this procedure correctly uh, using the special tools provided by Ford. So you can see here we've got two tools uh, that lock the cam and make sure the cams are in the right place uh, before we take the front cover off. So the engine front cover is this part here. Uh, so we've got to take these three bolts out of both of the uh, VVTI units uh, as soon as we've got the units out, we put the uh, cam locking tool in, make sure it's in the right position. As soon as it's in the right position, uh, we can go ahead and install the other cam locking tools, which go on the cams themselves, uh, and they bolt into the head. Moving back to the computer. So they're the main tools, as you can see shows the other timing tools that go on the cams. As you can see, once the cams are in the right position, we take the front cover off, we have to make sure that these are in absolutely the correct position uh, to make sure the cams don't move and to make sure everything goes on as it should. Underneath the vehicle again, as you can see, we've removed the starter motor to gain access to the flywheel to put the locking tool in place. As soon as the locking tool is fixed in position, we can remove the crank bolt and remove the front pulley. So just so you can see, uh, these are all the timing tools that are required uh, to take the crank bolt off. We've got the torque increaser, uh, the bracket for the torque increaser, two cam lockers, two cam lockers, and the crank pin as well. We've also got the locking tool in place for the flywheel. Uh, that's just loose at the minute, just so we can still rotate the engine. So we have to look up here, and this 10mm bolt is where we put the locking pin. So I'm going to undo that, get the locking pin in place, and rotate the engine until it stops. As soon as it stops, we know it, the piston one is it top dead center, uh, which is roughly where we should be. Uh, so we can mark the cams up and get the cams locked off. So with the crank locking pin in place, which is this one here, we then we'll take the crankshaft and so you can see this little stop and push it all the way up to that stop. We also need to remove the crank position sensor as well. So we can get the other timing tool to remove the crank bolt there. Okay, so now we've got the cams locked off with the lower timing pin still in place and locked up against the crankshaft. 
we can now install the crank locking tool securely to make sure it holds the crank in place. Okay, so now we have the torque increaser installed. Double check the locking tool, that's nice and locked off. Cam alignment tools are on. So, crack this nut off and uh, get the pulley off. As soon as the pulley's off, we'll drop the vehicle down, put the other cam lockers on, and then we can get the front cover off. So now we have all the locking tools in place, cam locators, both lockers are in place. So now it's just a case of undoing all the bolts around the cover, and taking the engine mount off, jacking the engine up a little bit just to support it, um, and then we can get the front cover off. Okay, so I've just pulled the front cover off. As you can see, the timing belt is exposed. So I'm gonna get this front cover out of the way. Front cover's off. And the timing belt is exposed. So all we need to do, uh, put a pin back through there, undo this nut, take the tensioner off, take the belt off, uh, replace the belt as required, and put it all back together.